guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode of Fossil Friday, well first things first, apologies for missing last week, but I am fossil hunting today and we're actually at a Devonian site. So the rocks we're looking at are around 360 million years old, so a little bit different to usual. And we can find a range of fossils here, so we're finding ammonoids, which did later evolve into ammonites, and other shelly fauna, so there's brachiopods, a few bivalves, and we've got some orthocone nautiloids and trilobites but I don't know if we'll be lucky enough to find many of those today um, but I am joined today with Dr Kevin Page I'm sure a lot of you know him so I'll get him to join in in a minute because these rocks are really unusual in terms of their tectonic activities so they're not exactly what you would expect in terms of their orientation so let's go have a look well as, as Emma said this this uh, this is the site is quite complicated I've been trying to get my mind around it for about eight years now uh, essentially, we have a rock sequence. It's not like the Jurassic, which is all soft and squidgy. This is quite hard. It's been underneath the mountain chain about 300 million years ago, so the rocks have been altered a little bit. So eventually, when I was trying to work out what was going on, I created this cross section here. So this is a, a scale, and that's about one metre across the outcrop. And I've, what I've worked out these bands of limestone nodules, these like concretionary things, with muds in between. And this is the, the succession I've worked out stratigraphically, but uh, what was quite weird about it, if you've got rocks inclined like this, you always think the ones at the bottom are the oldest, and the ones above are the youngest, but not so here. I showed, showed some of these to a friend in Germany, and these fossils down here, which should be oldest, are actually the youngest. And these ones over here, which should be the youngest, are actually the oldest. So the sequence is actually upside down, but that's based on the fossils. But the other evidence we have are something we call geopetal structures. So I actually found one of these in situ. So here you have a cross section of an ammonoid. And this is the way it was sitting in the rock or on the seabed actually. So the f lower part of it has been filled with sediment, just washed in through the chambers, and the upper part is full of crystalline calcite. And that was empty space until it was filled in with waters passing through through, through the rock as it, as it hardened. So that's called a geopetal structure. But when I found one in situ, it was like that, upside down. So that's how we know the rocks were inverted. So this, this is classic things geologists do, way up structures. Where's your oldest rocks and where's your youngest rocks? So we have some wonderful evidence here. And that adds complexity to the rocks of this age, trying to work out uh, the sequence, because you have to work out, first of all, which way up they are. So before I get into a bit of a show and tell to show you all the other fossils we found today, I will just insert now some footage of how we cleaned the outcrop because it's quite entertaining. So we did first, you know, with a few tools trying to brush it and get most of the debris off. And then because of the type of sediment around, it's just a nightmare to actually see what's underneath. So we have to wash it literally with watering cans and water from the local spring. So I thought you guys might be entertained by that sort of footage. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. And obviously these rocks are a completely different color to what we normally hunt in. So it's a lovely kind of reddish purple, um, which is very typical of the De Devonian. So that being said, let's get a look at some fossils. So the biggest and baddest is this, I'm going to pronounce these all wrong now, Clymenia? Nailed it. That was me looking at Kevin for <laughs> clarification. I said it right. So it looks like this. So this is the largest ammonoid that we found so far. So you can see there, this is a really really amazing specimen and then is that little one a uh, ammonite as well don't know not sure we don't know but this little nodule might might be another one but you can see that there so cool and you've got the sutures going around amazing and then we've got another one which okay i'm going to try and pronounce it without <laughs> Erphatites nailed it as well so that's this one this one has lovely sutures on it so you can see around the corner here so this is a moroccan style so you can see so this one was found previously hence why it's figured there but also very nice so i thought i'd show you some of the better fossils that can be found because you don't always get lucky and then there is a trilobite that we found now i don't know if i'm going to be able to show this on camera um, but you can see like all the little eyes 
but I think my camera might oh it's it's quite dark as well I will try and insert a picture or a video of this one of it close up because I just don't think you guys are going to be able to see that but I'll try anyway so that's a trilobite head and then other things we found today we've got some orthocone nautiloids so you can see all the segments here so you can see it just in the rock there quite weathered but quite pretty nonetheless and then there's a different version of an orthocone nautiloid here which doesn't have as many detailings but if I try and get it to focus you can see it like that and then I did find an ammonite fragment so I'm going to try and polish this one and see what it looks like polished because you can see that the chambers here have been filled with calcite so they might they might turn out quite nice sanded down so that's a project project for the future that I'm sure you guys will come along with and then a non-fossil I found is a nice bit of calcite quartz quartz quartz, quartz. <laughs> nearly got a full run and uh, <laughs> you can see the lovely crystals there on the side so that's just a nice little show and tell so i'm gonna chat with kevin now and we're gonna talk about kind of what the importance of these rocks are and why we're playing with devonian so kevin's back and he's going to chat to us now about why we're here and the importance of devonian rocks <laughs> we're, we're, we're here in devon and this is the type area of the, the devonian period of geological time so it's a very special area but after it was established here in the in the 19th century a lot of the study went else uh, elsewhere but what's very special about these this site here we haven't seen fossils like this in this region since the beginning of the uh, 19th century there's an old site near Lanson in Cornwall which is now completely filled with rubbish which used to yield them so this is a new site and we've been studying in it for a number of years now and, and it's revealing all sorts of insights so it's really important so I've got a colleague in, 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 in Germany in Berlin who's very interested in these things it's helping me with these and another colleague who's a specialist uh, in trilobites who's going to work on those so it's going to be really much a, a team a team work to actually describe this because it's something very very special and it, I, I could argue it's of international importance as well just a brand new site discovered when someone was digging one day and we found all these amazing fossils and it's quite a nice site because it's accessible so we can yeah. actually get to the exposure quite yeah. easily and not put ourselves at risk no. or other people so it's it's nice that we can actually look at the layers and once yeah. we understood the tectonics and the way round they were it's and we have to thank Steve the, the owner who's been really really helpful letting us come here and study <laughs> the site it's been absolutely brilliant yes definitely so that's just a little insight on what we've been up to but I thought I'd take you guys with me because I know a lot of you enjoy that but like and subscribe for more I'll hopefully be back next week but my Instagram's down below if you'd like to follow me on there and a massive thank you to Kevin for sure. joining us on a regular basis but um yeah take Take care everyone and hopefully I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. Okay. Here we are. Okay, there's the ammonoid there. And that joins on to that one there. So let's try and get that piece off. a little bit more perfect Ooh. somewhat there's still <laughs> there's still more in there <laughs> not quite perfect but